Are you still using screw on filters? <laughs> but what if I told you there was a better way to add filters to your lenses? This is the KNF Concept Nano X Magnetic ND Filter Kit. A fantastic solution for those who want quick, easy to change filters. Starting at just $69.99 depending on the filter size that you have, these are both competitively priced and surprisingly good quality. I don't know about you, but I'm usually quite skeptical of ND filters, particularly when they're more affordable. Usually cheaper ND filters have issues with colour shift and general image degradation, but these they're honestly very good. Now, if you're wondering what ND filters are, I'm not going to go into detail in this video. There's actually a video I've done before that I've linked somewhere up here, and I'll also add a link in the description for those of you who prefer to read about what products can do. So in the KNF Concept Kit, you get an ND8 filter, providing you with three stops of light reduction, making it perfect for partly cloudy days when you just need a touch of light control. You also get an ND64, which offers a six stop light reduction. The ND64 is ideal for those bright sunny days when you need to cut down on excess light without compromising on image quality. You also get an ND1000 filter. Now this provides 10 stops of light reduction, allowing for creative long exposure photography, even in broad daylight. In this kit, you also get a graduated neutral density filter offering three stops of light reduction, either at the top or the bottom of your photo, whichever way around you want to put this filter. And this is great for sunsets and things like that. And this feathers off the change in light so the image blends together. You also get the filtering, which is magnetic. Now this is the most important part of the kit. It allows you to add the magnetic filters to your lenses. Now you might be thinking, I've got tons of different lenses. They're all different sizes. What kit should I get? What size? Well, personally, I always go for the biggest size that you can get. So in this instance, it's the 82 millimeter one. And then I use step up rings from my lens to the filter to make sure that I can use this larger filter on practically any lens that I've got. KNF did actually send me the step up set and the link for that is in the description. You also get this handy little storage bag, which gives you plenty of storage for your filters. There's a handy multi-layer storage design and various ways to attach this to your bag, to your belt or wherever it is you want to store your filters. Now the standout feature and what is probably most appealing about these filters is the fact that they have a magnetic design, which makes switching and changing filters extremely quick. I'm literally talking about, you know, milliseconds just taking the filter off, adding another one, compared to standing there screwing on filters. They're also extremely thin, and KNF explains that this is to reduce vignetting in photos. Personally, I've not had any vignetting issues so far, so I guess that works. I must admit though, the thin profile on these filters can be a little bit fiddly to work with at first, but once you get the hang of handling these, you'll be swapping filters in no time and hopefully not dropping them. And one feature on these filters might help with that, and that is the CNC bump design. So this isn't just about aesthetics, it's about practicality. This CNC bump gives you a little bit of extra grip when you're handling the filters, and the last thing you want to do is drop these and potentially ruin the image quality produced by them. This kit is perfect for me because I really don't like screw on filters. If you're a landscape photographer, for example, you know how important it is to get a quick shot sometimes, especially if there's a sunset, you know, that in a couple of seconds is just gonna dip below a cloud or something like that. A few seconds can make or break a shot. And if you can avoid spending time screwing on a filter, then this kit is the best solution. So let's now talk about image quality because that is the most important thing about these filters, let's be honest, more than how quick they are to change and any features they've got. All we really care about is how good the image is out of these. So KNF market these as having, you know, this grinding and polishing technology, which is used on both sides of the lens. Now, what does that mean? I have absolutely no idea. All I can really go off is what the images are like when I use these filters. So I actually tested all of these filters with the exact same landscape with pretty much the same settings in the camera besides the shutter speed to see how good these filters are, if there's any kind of color shifting or image degradation, right from the graduated filter all the way to the ND1000. And I have to say these filters hold up incredibly well. I don't think there's any color cast here at all, maybe the tiniest amount, but nothing that I can really notice between pictures. All of the images you're seeing on the screen now were shot at 5,500 white balance, f8 and at 200 ISO to make the comparison fair. The images themselves seem completely unaffected as we go higher into the ND strength. Overall, these filters look promising for both hobbyist and professional use. 
And here's a little anecdote for you. So I used to have the Lee Deluxe filter kit and I think that costs nearly 500 pounds. Yeah, you heard that right, 500 pounds. And on my first trip with these, I actually dropped them, which was absolutely gutting. And when I picked up the filters, all of them were scratched. So a 500 pound kit basically down the drain. Um, I don't really know if this had a huge impact on the image quality overall, but what I noticed is I got a lot more flaring in the photos and there were little signs on the photos where, you know, these scratches made a big difference to the image quality. And generally, they just weren't that good. There was a lot of color cast, and even with the graduated filters, they didn't really feather very well, and the image looked really dark. And not just that, that it introduced quite a lot of noise to the image, which I'd never experienced before. And I think this was actually to do with the filter, not the camera settings, because there wasn't like a high ISO or anything like that. They just really didn't look that good. Maybe I got some kind of like counterfeit set or something, but considering these are Lee filters and they're supposed to be like the sort of top of the range in the photography world, they really disappointed me. So what's the point of this little anecdote? Well, the point is these KNF filters are less than a quarter of the price, but offer much better results. And when it comes to durability, these filters do have a 28 layer nano coating that apparently provides waterproofing, anti-smudge and anti-scratch protection. Now, I'm not going to go scratching these filters for the purpose of this video. We just hope, you know, if you take them out and you scratch them somehow, that, you know, KNF may refund you if they're anti-scratch. I mean, I don't know what level of anti-scratch. Is it anti-scratch with a cloth? Is it anti-scratch with a knife? Don't know. I wouldn't get this kit and then start scratching them with a Stanley knife. Probably not a good idea, but I guess it's just peace of mind knowing that these filters do have that sort of protection. And I'm sure if you did scratch them without using something very sharp, KNF would be pretty good with returns and replacements. So these filters do have a lot of features, coatings, all this stuff that, to be honest, doesn't really mean much to me. All I care about is the image quality. And from what I can tell, the image quality from these filters is fantastic. So what else can you really say about these filters? They perform well, they have a bunch of different features to ensure that they're not going to smudge, scratch, or get water all over them. So for a landscape photographer, or even a videographer that's working, you know, in different environments, these are a great option. And having that quick changeover with the magnetic filtering is just brilliant, honestly. I don't think I'll be using screw-on filters ever again, and I'll likely just be using this kit going forward. So whether you're a photographer or a videographer looking to get an ND filter kit that produces great results, I think you can be pretty confident with this kit from KNF. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out my channel. If you want to see more from me, subscribe, hit that bell icon and all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.